So when I first started the Panda Chronicles, I wanted it to be something very special to me. And I wanted to make something different from just a normal rap album. I really wanted to come up with something original because since I've been 12, I've been wanting to create this album and I've always wanted to do it, but I never had the opportunity, I didn't have someone to help me make the beats or I didn't have anyone help me with anything. I'm trying to find my purpose as I'm working on her surface. I'm very nervous, I know my demons. I'm versus, I feel my life is on display, but this ain't no circus. What's the concept behind it? Is, is the concept you? Are you the panda? And while that is part of the truth, I mean, some of my, some of my friends call me panda just for fun, I guess. And uh, aside from the fact that pandas are from Asia and trees from the east and all those things, actually the panda is supposed to symbolize every human being. It's supposed to symbolize how we are all made of good and evil, like every coin is made of two sides and no one is completely good or no one is completely bad, but our life is that battlefield where these two forces are all constantly in battle and that's what I try to explore in my music, I try to explore why do I do these things. Now 
that we have a product and we have the Panda Chronicles as an album, Nick came to me and he said, hey, let's let's do shows. And I'm like, of course, we're going to do shows. And he was like, no, 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 let's do shows with a live band. And I'm like, I don't know, that's a lot of work. Who's going to play this? Who's going to play that? We don't know anyone. And Nick's like, no, 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 I got the best idea. So I came that day, I met Cassandra, Niraj, Isaac, and we just jammed and everything just worked out really well and I thought Cassandra had a really an, an amazing voice and Isaac is just a crazy drummer and Nick obviously is phenomenal and it's been great working with him and I would like to thank him for making the beats. The whole thing is not just a rap album anymore, now it's taking on its own live um, performance perspective and I really want people to hear this because usually you hear a lot of hip-hop and you hear a lot of instrumental hip-hop where there's just a beat playing and there's no you know live band because that takes a lot of money and only Jay-Z and the rich people can do that but now we've all come together and just for the sake of passion and that's what we're doing now and so I think the world should get to see this so that's it guys that's the panda chronicles it's been in the works for a year and a half we've put all our money and all our effort into it just to give you the best music free from any label any capitalistic impulse it's just artists coming together and making what we love trying to beat that nine to five so i hope i'll see you on the 28th of march at the elmo combo so you can see some panda chronicles right and make sure to get the album on the 30th of march It'll be available on iTunes, Amazon. Yeah, and thanks. Thanks for checking this out. The Panda Chronicles.